my name is Avril Malik, content developer. I only give two interviews and I got rejected. Post efficiency plus mentorship plus one one session plus interviews plus mock tests. Everything is provided in a single combination. They are much more senior, most professional. Am I doing something like good? Why they are hiring me at this age? So hello, my name is Avril Malik and I am a front-end developer with the experience of 2.5 years right now. I am currently working in the Joyces, which is a which is a Japanese based company and I am from Noida, which is a part of Delhi NCR. At the initial time, I wanted to become a player, volleyball player. Okay. I always had interest in that. I also win trophies in volleyball. Then our games come out PUBG. Then I wanted to be a competitive player in the PUBG. <laughs> okay. That's so silly, but yeah, I wanted to become a PUBG. I always demand my parents to give me an iPhone, please. It's expensive, but yeah, I will crack it. My parents were like, nah, you can't. So at that time, I was a big fan of PUBG. I used to play PUBG. Then government banned it. I always curse government for why they banned the PUBG because I wanted to be a, become a professional player into it. Mm. Then I need to figure out what my interests are because at that time everything is too low to down for me. So I decided to figure out what my interests are. So at that time I start learning product designing and I got interested in designing website, designing anything, designing mouse console, gaming consoles, gaming layouts, website layouts, everything. Suddenly from product designing to front end development, I didn't notice it but I get interested in the front-end development as well. I started from a very small thing called HTML at the time. Okay. I start from the HTML, then I suddenly look into more into it, more into it, then I got placed in a company. I didn't even realize that. How am I able to crack a company at the time? Because they are much more senior, most professional, more, most you can say most experienced one, talented one are there. But it's still I got selected in a company. So at that time, I was like, okay, am I doing something like good? Why they are hiring me at this age? So what did you uh, pursue in your college? Like what was your degree that you did? Okay, uh, I pursued BC at the time. And only first year of my BC, I placed my job. You got a placement in the first yeah. year of yes. your... Uh, it's an offline placement. It's not from the college side. I cracked it through online means. Where did you find that opportunity? Uh, because there are a lot of company at the time at the covid time who are hiring for professionals who can work remotely okay so i was the one who was looking into it and my brother pushed me that why don't you start working when you wanted to become a professional in some year so yeah i said yeah why not i give it a try and i got placed in a company at the time all right so how was that experience for like what was your age when you got your first job my first job uh, i got a first job at the age of 17 Okay, and what was your role like there? What uh, you used to do there in that okay. company? It's a product designing role. I I used to be very creative at the time. So I decided to explore more areas. Like what are the more more areas? I can't stick to one job at that time because it become a totally headache for me. So I decided to find, figure out what are the other things where I can place, get placed. I only give two interviews once my graduation is done and I got rejected in the second round only, technical round. Mm. So at that time I start exploring my internet. What are the managers, what are the firms who provide with the manager, who can manage my interviews, my education, what I need to learn for the uh, industrial areas. What was your thought process that I need a program or I need to learn all the things that I'm interested into in a structured way? For me, kickstart point is the rejection. Mm. I like there are a hundred companies mm -hmm. and I got so shortlisted for two companies based on my resume mm. and they rejected me in the second round. So it's a feeling like I can't say to my family that I got like that I applied for a hundred companies and I got rejected just in just in just two days at that point it's totally like i am not in, like i am not fully prepared for the industry right now i need to it. prepare myself all right so how did you hunt for learning for the skills or finding the right program for you started okay for that uh, i start contacting through online means i was searching for the manager who can manage my interviews and can tell me about 
what industry want ask a person who can tell me what industry want right now because if i am learning something i want to put it in a beneficial for me if i am learning a simple language called javascript i want to to make sure that that industry want that so that's why i start hunting a lot of companies then i come through cryo at the moment who provide like they provide everything uh, even mentorship uh, one we one session and mock test as well then interview preparation as well even if i'm going for cryo now i wanted i wanted to make sure that cryo is the best at that, at that time okay so i compare this with other other you can say consultancy then i see a major difference i see a lot of major difference okay first thing is the the interview part which nobody provides okay you, even big is big big companies not even very big companies they don't even provide with the job opportunities they only provide with the courses okay and which are four to five times expensive oh okay yeah that's the cost efficiency plus mentorship plus one one session plus interviews plus mock test everything is provided in a single combination by cryo so why would i look for other uh, companies because they are only provided with the courses they don't even guarantee for the job they just provide it with the courses and certification that's all it's like doing a graduation at that from those companies i grinded everything from the cryo tnc their products how they manage everything i grinded everything from the cryo web page only then i talked to the cryo team see how is the thing going to be and how things were like in the cryo when you checked cryo's curriculum uh, when you were going through its website and when you were exploring its program uh, what did you like in its curriculum actually in the starting i was thought that they are providing too much it hmm. can't be real oh, okay i i thought that yeah they are providing too much it can't be real uh, so I asked them who got placed already. Can you please share me their numbers or LinkedIn something like that? So they and they start sharing with me. I actually I contacted more than fifteen people who got placed from the cry just to make sure that yeah, if they are providing more, it sh- needs to be real. Hmm. At that time, I was thinking like that, and once they told me about how cryo works now, then I got impressed because nice. they do have the best thing out now. the mentorship mm. they provide with one one mentorship i always go for one one mentorship whenever i get the chance so that's the best part about cryo curriculums that okay. even if you have the lot of uh, syllabus out there but one one mentorship is the best one got it what did you really like in cryo's free trial that convinced you to uh, take up the program actually at that time i was like so strict on them that instead of giving me trial can you please provide me with the contact number of for folks who got placed from this company okay so the only way that i that i got the free trial is to contact them okay i contact them i talk to on linkedin as well they provide me all the details then after i join the free trial of the cryo okay. then they give me a certainty you can say a assurity at the time that it's going to be like this and please make sure we are not going to leave you behind hmm. that part caught me and i yeah let's go for it uh, how many projects did you make with cryo a lot huh. i like, do you have a example, number uh, i am a part of a full st- uh, full sprint uh, program okay i added uh, six extra sprint into mine okay six extra so i made around 10 to 12 projects wow that's nice which yeah. one was your most favorite one uh the most favorite one is the there's a spotify clone so we need to make that spotify clone qt5 something like that mm. i don't remember the full name but it's a spotify clone and at that time i yeah it just surprised me that i yeah i can able to make this one because after 8 months i need to see myself now nah, where i stand so once i made that clone i am satisfied with myself that yeah i am exceeding in my okay skills. that you learn some skill and now you are able yes. to build something from scratch yes nice how was your experience with uh, cryo's mentors super amazing 
I was the one who asked them millions of questions in the session. Even after call, once the meeting is end, the mentor are so good they provide me with their actual numbers. I always contact with their real numbers. They always like a viral. Why do I have you so many questions? <laughs> they never complain about anything. They always like okay, you can do this, you can do it like this. The technical stuff. For example, there is a mentor who teaches us. Then there is a technical supporting hmm. like mentors. Hmm. They are the best one. Okay. I was like from morning to till evening. I ask them question and question and questions. They hmm. always answer me with everything. Even How much time did they take to get back to you after you have raised a ticket? Very like quick. Uh, one or two minutes. That's maximum. Nice. And if there was something that you were very badly stuck on, will they give up on you or like they tried their best to uh, have you move past that obstacle? They actually, uh, they actually set up a video link, like meet link, okay. just to explain me all the things. That's the best part. If I get stuck in somewhere, for example, in DSA Sprint Five, which is the most toughest DSA part, hmm. I got stuck there a lot of time. They never so like they never said, yeah, just Google it, just do this, you will going to find it. They just like, I will going to create a meet link, just start asking me questions, and they always do that. Wow, that's nice. Uh, okay, so now that you've done your uh, foundations, you've done DSA, you've made projects, you've you know learned the skills, and you have the testament of those skills in the form of projects. How did you feel when you entered the referral pool? What was your expectations? Uh, what kind of confidence you had that time? Like, what was your feeling that time? Okay, once I get entered to the referral pool, I was like, I put 1.2 years into it. From the 1.2 years, I am learning everything. I never asked to put me in the referral pool. So you can say that in the uh, 14 months. I actually did 18 sprints in total. Okay, okay. So I was doing two sprints a month sometimes. Got it, got it. So, so you the... took more advanced uh, areas also in skills also to yes. in your curriculum. Yes. So once I get entered into the referral pool, my my own expectation and confidence are very high in in cryo actually, not in the companies but in the cryo that they going to provide me with something very unique and very good because at that time. Everything is going on point. The manager, Ashwa, is the one that I always mention. I always next to her. She is the best manager that I ever had because she never complains about anything. Even I neck. She is the best part in the like in my whole journey to becoming a zero to hundred percent fully eligible for a job. <laughs> so she has played a major role, which I can say. And uh, for after referral pool, I have very much confidence in me. In Ashwarya, in the cryo team. How many interviews did you get through cryo? How many interviews did you give? A lot. I can't even number it, but a lot actually. Roughly, if you were to give a number. Sixty-four. Oh, so you got sixty-four interview opportunities. Yes. Okay, and uh, how many did you crack? Okay, so I cracked. I think fourteen are those who rejected me in the. Screening session only, and uh, the fifty which are remain behind, choose me to take uh, for the next stage like level two or technical round. Then for I think for around eighteen to twenty companies, I crack till final round. Okay, uh, when did you uh, crack your first job? After giving so many interviews, uh, when was this like this job that you're currently working at? Uh, when did you crack that? I got placed in the referral pool in the July month, and in the August they start uh, taking my interviews. So if I count it, then August, September, and October. October is the last day because in the October I was placed in a Jan's part okay. where they had their own training of one month. Okay. It's from the company side only. Hmm. So, because they also provided me this snippet at the time of the training, and after that I cracked the company, and I was placed in 30th January 2025. Okay, so right now you uh, congratulations first of all for cracking the interview and getting this job. So right now you're placed as what in this company? So I was placed as software engineer grade two. Okay. So basically, software engineer is a you can say a general term. 
where they have the three terms software engineer senior engineer and the team lead grade is something which describe which level they are stand on for example if they are three senior developer then they need to differentiate between which uh, which height they stand for level 1 level 2 level 3 that's how the company processor works what is the package that you cracked so regarding my package i cracked a very high package uh, it's close to 13 lp and um, the you can say there are other stuff that i get not only the package they are uh, they give me bonuses they give me extra incentives they give me a lot of things which impressed me and the total hack that i received in total which includes every bonus and incentive then it's a 100% hack okay wow that's amazing yes that's so for everybody <laughs> so uh, while in this learning journey i'm sure you know, it's a very long journey that you have uh, uh, went through was there any day where you felt like giving up after every interview i felt like giving up <laughs> i always that's why i'm telling you ashwar is the one who who always like this like avril you can crack this avril you can go for it be motivated i was like always nagging to her even though she don't count it nagging but for me i know that i nag a lot a lot uh, in front of her that why i'm not able to crack it what's going on either i am not e- talented or some there's some kind of a things which are missing inside me so she was always like motivating me and yeah because of her i able to crack this opportunity as well how will you rate the overall experience that you've had with cryo out of 10 overall experience is 10 <laughs> they never complain about anything they always feel like that i am not nagging i am just having some kind of a breakdown that's the best part <laughs> <laughs> well that's nice uh, if there is somebody uh, who wants to take a cryo what are the top 3 pointers that you will tell to that newcomer that why you should take up cryo first thing is that cost efficiency is the best thing if you are looking for cost efficiency then you can definitely go for cryo because they provide a lot with those second thing is the referral pool system it's a very best third is the manager the manager is the best part i always like them that's <laughs> the best part for me wow nice what is that one piece of advice uh, that you would want to give to a fresher who's just starting out in his career and has been just graduated okay so there is a single thing that i want to share because there is a friend of mine her name is parul sharma she also cracked as a fresher she is not technical non technical and she able to crack it she joined a company and i am very happy for her as well so seeing her she never miss a opportunity to join anything as a fresher if you are uh, like if you are expecting something na you need to be at that level if i am expecting something very big i need to be at that level which i prove you need to prove it if you want to if you want that level that's the simple advice well thank you so much for joining on in this interview with us i'm sure our viewers out there who are listening this conversation feel motivated uh, after looking at your success thank you so much aviral and we wish you all the best for your future thank you thank you so much thank you for having me